Hi, it's been quite a while, but I thought it was time to make another video. Now I got a request from one of our subscribers, Maria Holmstrom, from Sweden. And she had a, an issue with an image which had lots of little circular structures in it, which appears to be fused together. And her simple question was, how can I measure these objects which appear to be touching? When I saw that, I thought, well, obviously segmentation, maybe some watershed, and then a careful use of the analyzed particles. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep watching. And this one's for you, Maria. Okay, so here is the image that Maria sent. Um, let's just zoom in see what we've got what's the problem well we see the problem is that as we get in here we see that a lot of these objects they're touching so we know that when we do the the thresholding like particularly here for instance these objects will all fuse together so let's have a look at that if we do image adjust threshold yeah you see the all thre they all fuse together now I suppose you could stop the thresholding there, but then you're not getting all of the object. So you want to want you want to you want to cover all of the object. But let's just let them bleed together here and hope that the watershed algorithm can fix it for us. So we'll apply that. And there we've got our segmentation. So let's do the watershed. We do binary watershed. And it takes a, a few moments to do this. This is quite a big image, as you can see. It's uh, 13,000 oh, 13, pixels by 13,000 pixels. So we've got really quite a large image. Um, there's a, one thing around about the, the, the image is that there are, there are lots of like scrappy little bits that we are going to try to remove from this image. What we ideally will do is that once the watershed is done is that we will ask the analyzed particles to only give us the objects which are roughly circular and within a certain size. So we we'll see here we're almost done and watch closely down here. See? So these objects are now separated. You see that quite nicely. And we can move around and see that there's a good separation here. Well, don't know what's going on there. There's a separation there. Okay, so we've got nice separate objects. What we want to do now is to pull those out using analyzed particles. Oh, but the analyzed particles will only work on a thresholded object. So we'll bring the threshold back in and we'll do analyze particles. Now I've set this already to be between 1500 and 4000 pixels. So this is the, the, the size range in which I want to collect the data. Anything that falls out with that size range is excluded. Anything, any object, any individual object which doesn't have a circularity of between 0.6 and 1. Remember that perfect circle gives us a value of 1. Um, will be excluded. And let's look at the result in outlines. Okay, so let's see. It's working away. And now we're hoping that there are going to be um, 1,999 objects. So we've got quite a lot more than we would want. Maria told me, I think it was about 2,000 objects uh, when she did it by hand. If we zoom in, let's, oops, sorry. If we zoom in, let's see what we've got. Yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff over here which isn't really to be included. But we can exclude them because they have numbers, so we know which ones we don't want. But you can see quite nicely that it's pulled out all of these circular objects. Okay, and then what you would do would be play around with the analyze particles parameters until it pulls out 
close to to what you want I could spend some time readjusting all of that but hopefully that gives you enough of an idea of what we were trying to do so threshold the object segment it to binary use the watershed algorithm to split touching objects threshold that result and then go to analyze particles and set the parameters that describe the objects or the shape and the size of the objects that you want to extract and hopefully you get a nice result well that was quite a quick run through i hope it was useful and i'll see you next time